Hello, I thought I'd just do a, a, a video uh, asking the question, are the Salafis right about their creed, about the Islamic creed, the Aqidah? Now, this is a very controversial area amongst the Muslims, and uh, it's only with trepidation that I dip my toe into this, uh, with a very good chance that it'd be bitten off by someone. So uh, I must stress, obviously, I'm not a scholar, and I'm just, uh, I don't intend to give in my opinions. I just want to ask a question and share some um, historical information about this. Because um, the Salafis, uh, I've often thought in my own mind, they are the despised group within a despised group. The despised group, the bigger one, is the Muslims. And within them are the Salafis. And they're even more despised because I, I have so many Muslims I know despise the Salafis, rightly or wrongly. And I'm not going to get into that. But I just want to ask, talk about the creed. Uh, creed is really important. Uh, and uh, Salafis claim uh, that they follow the original the authentic creed and of course other muslims say this is rubbish and uh, they don't and that they are just deviants and way way off the orthodox sunni path so i just want to um look at the evidence about that for what it's worth um i just thought i'd start with a definition of what a salafi is uh, in case you were asking and i'm looking at abu khadija's uh website uh he's a prominent perhaps the most prominent Salafi um, intellectual and writer in the UK and uh, he wrote a, a booklet called What is Salafism? Um, and in it he says uh, to be a Salafi means adhering to the creed, methodology and the way of life of the Salaf as Saleh, the pious predecessors. The earliest of the Salaf was the generation of our prophet and his companions. Then after them came the virtuous three generations of believers who held fast to the sunnah or path of the prophet and his companions. The person who understands this path correctly follows it exactly without introducing anything into it or deviating from it is a Salafi. To be a Salafi is not merely to imagine that one is upon the true path of the Salaf, but Salafism is to study the religion of the companions and follow it. It was they who understood best the meanings and intent of the speech and actions of the prophet. So uh, that's the claim they make. Um, and are they right? Well, what, what is interesting is, um, and this is really getting controversial now, if people know about this, this is incendiary stuff. But uh, Dr. Yasakadi um he was for many, many years, and he's, of course, the American imam, the American academic, uh, for many years was uh, um, an advocate of the Salafi approach. Um, but recently, in recent years, he's broken from that group and, um, and has written quite critically of Salafism. And he's written an article, um, a booklet, really, called On Salafi Islam, which is available online. I'll link to it in the description below, which I think is rather interesting. He talks about the negative aspects of Salafism and the positive aspects of Salafism. Now, I'm not going to get into the negative side and I'm not going to talk about the, the positive apart from one issue. And that is uh, he says something very interesting about the creed and about their theology. Now, this is a man, as I say, who is very critical of Salafis now, but it doesn't mean he jettisons everything of that theology, uh, of that methodology. But um, he says something very interesting about the creed. So uh, on, and I just want to read it and discuss it because um, this, this guy has a, a PhD from uh, Yale um, in this subject and uh, he uh, knows a thing or two. Anyway, he says this um, about the creed. Salafis um, have an enviably pure theology. Any objective researcher will find that the Athari creed is the earliest documented Sunni creed, predating the Kalam-based creeds of the Asharia and the Mataria. This is manifested in numerous theological treaties that still exist from the late 2nd and early 3rd Islamic centuries. The Athari creed was the dominant strand of Sunni Islam in the 4th and 5th Islamic centuries. And although it came to be limited to the Hanbali school of the 6th century as a result of political changes, it received a reviving boost from the ever-phenomenal Ibn Taymiyyah, from whom it, is, it still continues to receive vigour. So uh, 
Dr. Yasser Khadi is saying that the Salafis have the earliest creed. So um, the claim earlier that uh, I mentioned in the defining the definition of a Salafi would, would be backed up by Yasser Khadi. Now, there are two little footnotes here, which I find particularly interesting. Footnotes just to that paragraph I mentioned. The first one, footnote 14, says, and this is in response to the statement that the Athari Creed is the earliest creed, he says this, this is the view of almost all non-Muslim academics who specialize in Islamic theology, from Ignace Godzer to Richard M. Frank to George Makdisi and Joseph Van S. Now, these are the titans of um, Orientalist studies. While it is true that most of these names are dismissive of the Athari Creed because they view it as being overtly simplistic, they acknowledge that this trend of proto-Sunnism predates the Kalam trend of Asherism. Some modern Asherites, despite all evidence to the contrary, continue to paint an incorrect picture of this reality, in which it is alleged that Ibn Taymiyyah founded a new understanding of Islam. In my own personal library, as I write these words, says Dr. Yasakadi, I can see around a dozen theological treaties in my bookshelf written before Al-Ashari, all of which affirm Allah's attributes completely and unconditionally and refute Qalam. One may disagree with Ibn Taymiyyah, but one cannot historically deny that the general creed that Ibn Taymiyyah preached predates him by at least five centuries. So this is quite significant. Uh, if virtually all Western scholars agree with the Salafi belief that their creed is the earliest creed, as opposed to the Asherite creed, which is the, has now become the dominant um, creed in the Muslim world because of people like uh, Al-Ghazali and others. And that's a different subject. But I just want to come back to the Athari creed, as it's called. There's another footnote here, footnote 16, um, after some comments that he made in the paragraph I read about Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, My doctoral dissertation at Yale, which was an analytical study of Ibn Taymiyyah's magnum opus, entitled Averting the Conflict Between Reason and Revelation, or Akal and Nakal, began with an introductory chapter of around a 100 pages in which I documented the rise of the Asherite school. Again, this is the dominant school today, not, not uh, the original school. In it... Uh, Yasakadi says, I clearly demonstrate that the school uh, began, this is the Asherite school, as a small outcast movement, was initially persecuted by other movements and due to historical reasons, which I delineate in there in detail, eventually managed to supplant the dominant Athari creed, the original, to become the official creed of the Seljuks and later Islamic dynasties. The claim of modern Asheris, and they do make this claim, I've certainly heard it, that they have always been the dominant understanding of Sunnism is historically untrue. Um, now, that's an um, amazing claim as well. Um, and then there's another footnote um, more about Ibn Taymiyyah. It's been my contention that if Allah had not blessed the Athari creed with someone of the calibre of Ibn Taymiyyah as his defence lawyer and public advocate, it would have long dwindled into a minuscule movement. Um, on a personal note, the towering personality and sharp insights of Ibn Taymiyyah have had a profound impact on my own thought as well, and I consider him to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, intellectual mind that our Ummah has ever seen. Um, so that's from On Salafi Islam by Dr. Yasser Khadi. Um, which I said I link to. Um, now, he has many criticisms of the Salafi movement today, um, which I'm not going to go into in this video. But in terms of their key belief uh, in, in the Athari Creed, uh, that is not a criticism he has. In fact, he agrees with them that it is the historically earliest, most authentic creed of the Salafs, the companions of the Prophet. So to answer the question, it seems the evidence from this um, guy who's got a PhD from Yale and all these um, Western scholars as well, if, if this is accurate, um, that the Salafis are right to, to say and claim 
that their their uh, their creed um and within that all that that means in terms of belief about allah's attributes and the methodology and so on is the earliest islamic creed um that doesn't mean we should all become salafis of course because there there's more there's more to it than that but nevertheless i just wanted to throw that out there uh with a caveat that i'm not a scholar and i could be wrong even Yasser Qadi could be wrong, but I think um, Yale wouldn't have given him a PhD in this if he was wrong. Um, he would have uh, not done that. So that's it for now. Make of that what you will. Um, please comment and disagree and offer your views. And again, the issue here is about the creed. I'm not talking about Wahhabism or Saudi Arabia or this or ISIS. I'm just talking about the issue, the Akida issue. That's the only thing I'm addressing in this video. Till next time.